So one day I was working on a video. I know, crazy idea, right? I work on videos. And my friend messaged me. He said, Lunar, adding replay back. It's already in beta. And then we had a little conversation. Lunar Client added replay mod back. It was in Lunar Client like probably a year ago. And they finally brought it back. So now I'm going to teach all of you guys watching how to use it. So without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so step one, once you're at this menu, you want to go to this little triangle up here, click it on, come down here to this thing that says modules. Now, I think by default, it's set to this. So step one is to click this one. You got to set it to this. You'll see the check mark. Head over to save, click save. And then literally all you have to do is just hit launch and then bam, it's already prepped for you. It might take a little bit to load, but um, yeah, you're all set and ready to go. So I'll be back once we're in game. All right, so once you have it booted up, you, you have this menu right here. You go down here, you can see you have replay viewers. So that should be a sign that it's there. I have a bunch of replays already, but that's from a previous video, so. Uh, let's go into a game real quick. All right, so we're in the lobby right now. So if you hit whatever key brings up the menu, uh, come right here. It should be the very first one right at the top. It says replay mod. Hit options, um, but you can you can mess around with this. You can put it at whatever you want, customize it. I'm gonna hop into a game real quick, actually. So I'm gonna hit start recording. Go off the map, thank you. So I have my clip now because I killed that guy. So in order to stop recording, you just hit the key again. So you can see in the bottom it says recording stopped. So now you just finish the game basically. So I'm gonna get absolutely shredded by this guy, hold on. Where did he go? Okay, I told you. All right, so when you're finished recording whatever clip, you disconnect and then this thing will pop up right here. It'll load. Um, I want to delete this one and just save this one. So I'm going to name it um, Egg Spammy. Some guy. All right. So save that. And then when you're back at the menu, pull up the replay viewer. And then it's right here. Hit load. And then you're into the replay. So one thing I'm going to do actually is I'm going to go down here change some settings um all right so you can just copy these settings this is what i use for all my videos oh by the way i should probably mention this thing pulls up your 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 tab all your settings so there you go so i'm gonna pull up this menu click on my name it teleports me to my previous self if that makes any sense so this guy starts bridging I want to start my clip here, so I will hit this. This adds a position keyframe. So what this does is it makes sure that the camera is positioned here and looking this way. So I'm going to place a time keyframe there too. So that tells the, um, that tells the software when to start the clip. So I'm going to let it play a little bit. All right, so he dies, so I'm going to put another position keyframe and then time keyframe. So the clip lasts from five seconds to 11 seconds. So actually what I'm gonna do is, now I'm gonna change the position keyframes. So I'm gonna lower my FOV and then I'm gonna get a shot that I like. I'm gonna get an angle. So this looks like a pretty good angle right here. So I'm gonna go to the beginning. I'm gonna remove this one and then put it here. And then I'm gonna bring this over here. I'm gonna delete this keyframe. And I'm gonna have a slight pan to the left. And then I'm gonna replace it. So what I just did there was I set the first camera position goes from here to here. I set up a slow pan. So if I play this I play this movement back look it's a slow pan of me killing that guy and then it stops so 
that is what I'm going to render. That's what the clip is going to look like. So I'm going to go here, render camera path. I'm going to name it, whatever. I'll just mash my keyboard a little. All these settings look good. Uh, I think this is checked by default, so just uncheck that. And then once you're ready, just hit render. And it'll do its thing eventually. Hold on, it might take a little bit. Okay, there we go, it started. So you can hit show preview to see what all is rendering, but I like to keep this off because it goes faster. All right, so it's finishing up. There we go. So it'll make a noise and then this will pop up. Once you're ready, you can just open up the video folder. So I'm gonna open this one and then you see the clip that you just made. So this guy comes over here, this is me. And then I'm egging this guy and he falls and dies. It's just, it's simple, it's pretty easy. It's not hard to do. So that's how you use Replay Mod. Hey everyone, this is just post-production Tucker here. So this was less of a Replay Mod tutorial and more of a just how to get it and use it tutorial. So if you would like a more in-depth tutorial about how I use Replay Mod, then let me know in the comments. Uh, if I get enough comments, enough likes, then maybe I'll, maybe I'll do it. I don't know. Can't promise anything, but have a nice day. Subscribe, like the video. Goodbye.